What's an overprint? A few of you guys have asked me that on my website. What does it do? How do you make them? So I wanted to explain what an overprint is and how it pertains to screen printing and how to create them in Illustrator. Oh, by the way, I'm Casey from StartScreenPrintingNow.com. All the cool kids call it SSPN. But uh, what is an over overprint? Uh, the name kind of uh, says it all. It's when you have multiple colors stacked on top of each other and the transparency of the colors are going to mix together and uh, mix to get you new colors. There's a couple ways to do this in Illustrator. Uh, I'm going to show you um, one method that I don't like that much but another method that uh, I usually use. So in Illustrator when we make two shapes, let's say I have a spot cyan shape and a spot magenta shape. Um, if I tried to print this through RIP software the object that's covered up by this magenta square, square, the part that's underneath, is not going to print. It's going to be knocked out by the top uh, shape. It's going to turn out something like this when we do the rip. See, this, is, this portion is going to be cut off because it's covered by this top portion. So what we want is we want both squares to print fully, um, one square on top of the other. And to do this, we use an overprint. One way I can do this is I can select the first shape. I'm going to go up here to the window and I'm going to go to the attributes palette. And that opens the attributes palette and there's not a lot of uh, options here in this palette. It's kind of a worthless palette really to me. Um, and I'm going to select overprint fill. Just check it off. I have this shape, top shape selected and I selected overprint fill. Now there's no visual cue to let you know that this is an overprint. But unless I go up here to view and then do overprint preview. Now it's going to show you what these shapes are going to look like when they are printed on top of each other. Now you can see that it's kind of mixing to make a, a purple, bluish purple. I guess that's violet. So now when you print this artwork from your RIP software, it's going to print both squares completely. It's going to actually, it's not going to knock out this part of the square anymore. It's going to print them fully. I don't really like using this um, method because I don't like using the attributes, attributes panel because it's kind of a worthless panel. The only thing it's good for is the overprint. Um, I don't need to use notes. Put notes in a shape? That seems kind of weird. Um, so I don't like to use it. Also, you have to have overprint preview selected every time, and I don't always have that on. Instead, my favorite way to make an overprint is to take the first, the topmost shape, and go up to the transparency palette, and go to change the from normal to multiply blending mode. And that's kind of like the multiply uh, layer from Photoshop, where it kind of takes the uh, the dark. Uh, data from the um, dark data from the artwork and kind of transitions it into the artwork below it. <clears throat> now we got an overprint. We can see what it looks like. We have a good preview of what these colors are going to look like when they are printed on top of each other. And this method is very useful because uh, you know you, when you're screen printing, you kind of want to minimize the amount of colors you're using sometimes because it's more cost effective. And uh, you know, just using two colors here, we've made three colors. I also like to combine this method with gradients. It looks pretty cool. If I turn the top portion into a gradient, I'll change this into cyan. So I'm going to add cyan to both sides of the gradient slider. And on the leftmost sl side of the gradient slider, I'm going to change the tint to zero. Now I still have this top shape set to multiply. When I set it on top, it gets like a nice green to yellow. You can see how it's mixing together from blue, and then the blue is laying on top of the yellow, going to green, and then fading to nothing. It looks pretty cool. So now you can see how you can use gradients in your overprints. And really, that's all there is to it uh, for now. And um, you can use this for more complicated artwork, get colors that combine and get really cool effects. Um, you know, that's one of the beauties of screen printing is you can combine colors on top of each other and get a really cool uh, old school effect with it as well as, you know, just 
mixing colors together. Alright, so that's all I'm going to have for you guys. If you liked the video and it helped you, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, if you hated the video, just subscribe and um, leave a comment below. I love when you guys leave comments. You ask great questions and niche. Kind of shows me what you want for future videos. Alright, peace out guys.